Hello, my name is Rosalyn, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are rejoining Woodrow Lyles at 3.10 in the morning on September the 30th. Now, in the last episode, we made it to Riverside. We cleared out around the gas station, and we then worked our way to the northwest, just a little bit of the gas station in Riverside, and found a house uh, here to hole up in for the night. Um, we got into the house and got to sleep about 11.30 uh, was where we left the episode. And you can see here that it has just now turned 3.30. It is raining outside. It is dark. Um, didn't get a lot of sleep. Less than four hours of sleep. So it's going to be a long day. And in fact, I'm pretty sure that Wood Woodrow is going to end up drowsy and sleepy before the end of the day. So our goal today is going to be simply to establish a base on the second floor with some ropes and things like that up around the food market uh, in um, in town. And once we get into the food market, get us an upstairs apartment with a rope to get up into it and the door, door barricaded. From there, we're going to try to loot the, uh, with killing as few zombies as we can, we're going to try to loot the hardware store and we're going to try to go to the bookstore and find the books that we are missing, the books that we need. So that, that'll that be the goals. We probably won't get to the bookstore or the hardware store today, uh, but that, you know, we want to work our way up there. If we can get a base established and, and just get one of those two, the bookstore or the hardware store today and loot them, that would be good. Now we'll have to kill some zombies. I'm sure we won't be able to get away with killing and not killing any, but the goal is to try to kill as few as possible. Possible. Try to ditch aggro where we can, uh, sneak around, you know, try to be in it as inattrusive as possible. Now, we also have an issue that we're going to have to deal with. Since it's raining and dark outside, we might as well deal with a couple things. Let me go ahead and smoke a cigarette while we're waiting here. There's nothing else to be doing. While Woodrow has his cigarette, we'll talk about the other issue that we can see here. I just noticed that the condition of my crowbar, which is my favorite weapon, is very low. Um, I'm not sure I want to be going into town where I'm going to have to be doing a lot of killing with a crowbar that low. I also do not have any extra bags with me if we're going to loot the hardware store and things like that. We want to dump out anything that we're carrying that we don't need. We want to be light and carry everything we can with us So and getting the things in there. So that, that'll be our goal is to, we're going to go back to the gas station, drop the things off we don't need, grab our extra bags, and then make our way up to the food market and we're going to try to set up in one of the apartments above the food market. Now I think I'll try sneaking around a little bit here uh, just simply because this is oh, we don't really want to attract any attention if we can avoid it. We will end up needing to probably need a little something to eat. I'm not sure. We've got all kinds of food on us. But uh, we will see if there's any canned items here. I think there was some canned items. Yeah, there's some There's some more canned spaghetti. A nice can of cold spaghetti for breakfast. Sounds appetizing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I agree that that sounds appetizing. But it will solve the hunger. It's 440. We will be making our way outside here very shortly. And just heading down to kind of... I hope I brought an extra crowbar with me. If not, we'll use the axe, as long as we have to. All right, so we're gonna make our way down through here. There, We killed a lot of the zombies that are in this route down through here, so we can probably make our way down through here pretty easily. It is still, it's 450, it's, it's gonna be very dark. Not much I can do about that, but I can just go. Yeah, I see a zombie down there. Actually, I see two zombies. We're gonna just keep moving. Their aggro range should be reduced in this kind of weather. Of course, my visibility range is also reduced. So that's not necessarily a great thing. I don't want to stop. I don't know how far behind me they might be. So, aggroed him. I'll probably turn around and kill him somewhere down through here. We are down here now at the gas station. Let's, let's turn around. Ready to go. All right, there's one there, there's one there. Wow, the aggro range, even the, in the dark and the range, is dark and the rain is more than I would have thought. All right, we'll move back up here. 
don't really want to be dealing with zombies chasing me while I'm trying to sort out my gear. Might as well sort the gear out during the day, during the night time here. We'll be ready to go. Oh, there's a zombie sitting against the building down here. Taking a nap. Take care of him. Not seeing anything else, so. We are a long way from having killed everything that is in this vicinity, in this area. Of course, right down here. All right. I'm going to get in the car and sort through things. There is a zombie over there, but let's see. Maybe he'll forget about me for the time being. Of course, it's going to be in the back where I can't reach it. Let's see. I might be able to put some things in this, though. There's a little bit of room in here. So we'll put the some of this junk food in the glove box. That's a good place for junk food, don't you think? We'll put some of these matches. Put some of this in here. Now, that, that zombie there is getting closer than I like. Oh boy. You were not invited to this party. Alright. Back to what we were doing. Oh, we have some uh, we have some mutton and vegetable stir fry. We'll come back to that. Let's go back to putting things in the glove box. Things that we don't need. Uh, we'll put the chocolate, the choco cakes, the chocolate chips. At this point, I may even throw the cereal in there. I've got a bunch of chips on me. Let's get rid of a bunch of those chips into the glove box as well. Throw the crackers in there. This was all out of the convenience store. I had a whole bunch of just junk food. No reason to carry it around. It's simply taking up weight at this point. Won't even carry the annotated map with me. I believe that takes care of that. Now there is an empty gas can there. So I think what we're going to do... Oh. And there's a zombie. Oh, there's another zombie in here. There are more of these things around than there should be. Don't see anyone else. So let's unpack the gas can. We will fill up the gas can and then put it in the back of the truck. Partially we're waiting on daylight. Um, it is starting to get light outside. The other part of what we're doing is before we head up into town, we're trying to get a few things organized. So don't want to head into town trying to deal with things in the dark. That was part of what I'm doing. I do not have, I do have duffel bags, but I don't have an extra crowbar with me. So we'll throw the duffel bags in here. They will be useful. The other items, well, it is what it is. We have a crowbar that's not going to last very long. Maybe we'll find one. Maybe we should do the hardware store as soon as we get established and see if we can find us an extra crowbar. I'll bet there will be one there. So that's what we'll do. In the meantime, we're headed back where we came from. Oh, and there is another zombie. Surprised, but just how many zombies there are in this area. Maybe I killed the ones in the other area in Maltero, so there just weren't as many of them. But it seems to me like the population is higher here. And maybe that's just part of the game mechanics. Maybe it is higher. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this game, so this is kind of my first foray out of that area. That's okay. We're going to go up through here. I'm going to avoid that guy over there if we can. All right. Our goal is to go up. So we will start. The goal is to sneak up through here, see if we can not find um, our way into... The other area up here so we will going down the street headed toward the food market which should be I think it's down the street I guess we'll find out if I'm right 
to the extent we can, we're going to try to avoid. So I'm going to attract the attention of these guys. There's not a lot I can do about that. But I'm hoping to lose their attention before we get where we're going. So there's a building here. I don't know what this building is. It's interesting. There's a big group of zombies there. I've gained the attention of this one down here. This is the challenge of doing this. The way I was doing it before, I'm clearing out. I know what's in front of me. I clear behind me at all times. I end up not having a lot of zombies on me. That was a nice, kind of nice, but it doesn't, we're not going to have that luxury here. All right. There is a building here. It's got multiple stories. Not a bad thing, but this is not the food market. We are hoping to go up here. I think the next building up is the food market. I think I could be wrong. Could definitely be wrong. Would not be up. Oh, there's the food market. I am correct. So what we're going to try to do is get into that food market with as little fuss as possible. Go back here. See if we can get into the back door here. There's a lot. There are zombies back here. We're gonna kill as many as we can. Okay. How are we doing? Seems to be doing pretty good here. I hear people beating on that door. It's going to draw attention. So. Has that thing got a board on it? Door's parricaded. You've got to be kidding me. They will eventually break their way out of there. But that is the door that I want to go in. Let's go get the rest of this parking lot cleared out just so that I've got to, got to try to get in a different way. That door is barricaded too. That's, uh, I was not anticipating that. That means I'm going to have to take this crowbar and pry that open. I need to switch weapons. Let's kill him and switch to the axe. Need to save the crowbar because I'm going to need it. Oh, look at here. People that I... Attracted the attention coming the other way. Okay. And we'll take this guy out too. Okay. Well, with that being the case and that being barricaded up, they're beating on that door. Let's go, let's sneak down here. He's going back around. Let's go peek out here. Oh, he's coming. He saw me. It's okay. Okay with that. We'll drag him back here a little bit. Get him into the alley. Did anybody ever tell you the alleys are bad places? It's dangerous. Oh, and there's another person coming. There's somebody inside that I've that'll break through a window pretty quickly goal is to try to get inside, but I have to be able to, since I have to unbarricade a window, I need a little bit more space than was anticipated for that. Uh, something just broke. Where is that at? Oh, they're piling out of that window. Okay. There's three of them there, so it didn't take them long to pile out of there. Okay, got both of these. Right, that door is still being beat on. Unbarricade. There we go. Oh, yep, I see you. Anyone else coming around this corner? 
No, I don't see anyone. Okay, let's see if we can find if the door is unlocked now. If it's not unlocked, I got a problem. Okay, there we go. Alright, we've got the door open, but there are definitely zombies in here. Come on. Okay, we are inside. I hear more banging. Crafted spear, metal bar. A hand axe. We are going to care about all this stuff, but that's not the instant thing that we need to care about. I want to secure us a place to do our fighting and stuff from. Um, I am somewhat concerned about that being trapping me in there. Let's open this door just in case a whole bunch of them pile out of here when I open it. Okay. Let's drag you out here in the alley. Okay. Fine. We got that taken care of. Okay. Look at there. Now that is the grocery store, and it is clear at the moment, so we'll close that door. We're going upstairs. Our goal is to get a, as we said, is to get a safe place for us to do, th you know, to operate out of. So we're going up here. Hey, that's got a sheet on the window. Interesting. That's got sheets on the window here. It's like this is already being used as a safe place. This might, this will work really well if it's, if we can secure it. So let's see if the rooms are empty. No one in there. This has already got sheets on all the windows. I like it. Yeah, well, this is secure at this point. So what we need to do is barricade the outside window and create sheet ropes to allow us to get in. And since we've got two different windows, we can come in two different ways. We can put a window here in the alley. So I, I want to create three sheet ropes and do that. So the first thing to do will be to disassemble a few of these tables. We don't need all these tables. We, we just need some planks. Not going to be spending tons of time here. So our goal here, like I said, this will, this will be our safe house while, while we're here. It'll be a place for us to sleep at night. We'll be able to come in here. We'll barricade the door. And that will be good enough for us to do what we're going to do. So we take apart some of these chairs. Might as well speed it up here. Okay, there's one. This is going to produce some nails too, which we're going to need. Since we haven't been to the hardware store yet, we need this stuff. We'll, I'm going to leave that chair there, or that sofa. Let's uh, see what's in here. Let's take apart things in this room. Light desk. I need four planks and enough nails to do the things that we're going to do. Don't need that, don't need that. This is going to be just a junk room, I guess. We're not planning to stay here any long term. Things. This is simply the process of getting what we need. Uh, let's see. A civilian bulletproof vest in pretty good condition. Let's throw that in our bag. The leather jacket is also in good condition. I don't think I need a leather jacket. We'll just throw that on the ground. A baseball helmet. Don't need that. And we'll take this apart as well. Still looking for planks. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now we'll grab the nails. We will grab all four of those planks. More nails here. Only need four planks, so I'll be good there. With the nails that are over here, should be enough nails 
to get the door boarded up. Um, time for another cigarette. So I could really reduce some of this number of cigarettes in my pack. I think 322 is probably more than I need to be carrying around. Just noticed how many I had. Starting to get a little bit hungry. I'll deal with that in a little bit. Let's go over here. I don't have anything to craft a sheet rope, but we can go get that off of a corpse. Right here, I'm going to... Where's the planks? It must be here. Did I only grab one plank? I thought I grabbed four. I guess I did not. I see one. I know there was more than that over here. Yes. Did it go into my bag? Maybe. There it is right there. So it did go into that bag. Guess I put three in the bag when I ran out of space it dropped the rest of them here. Okay. We're good to know. Oh, that's the wrong door. This is the door we want. And we want to go here to this bag. Come down here and drop the three planks on the ground. Now, I'm not going to board the door up. We're, we are going to go back downstairs and get some, loot some of the bodies for sheet ropes so that we can install the sheet ropes first. Then we will install the, we'll, we'll board up the door. I think we'll check the apartment across the hallway as well. Really don't want to attract the attention. I'm not hearing anything in there, but that doesn't mean anything. So we will check that just as far as what we're doing. So let's see. We don't need the saw. And at the moment, we don't need the hammer either. All right, let's go in here and check this out. Oh yes, there's a zombie in here. All right. Close that. And I hear somebody beating on something. Turn that off. All right, let's see. Maybe it's right here. No. All right. Then it's going to be this other room. There's a door here. All right, kill you. All right, that's... It takes care of that. We don't really need anything that's in here right now. Oops, wrong side of the door. There we go. So, we will leave that. Oh, there is a house key. I guess we will take the house key. Why not? Digital watch. Don't need that. Let's make sure that there is no alarm set. And there's not. Okay. Don't want alarms going off up here. Nothing to draw attention to it, what we're doing. We'll make sure there's no alarms there. There's not. Alright, we're in good shape. So let's go back downstairs. There is a zombie here I can get some sheet ropes off of. Let's, oh, another watch. I don't need denim items. T-shirt, here we go. Rip clothing, craft sheet rope, two. I think I need six sheet ropes in total in order to build the... There is plenty of sheet ropes to be made here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Military desert boots that got a hole in them, so they're not going to do me any good. There's another watch. We'll dismantle that watch just because I'm a little nervous about having watches around me at this point.
I don't need ladders. Oh, there's a bunch of guys down there. All right, we are going back inside before they get up here and know where I went. Okay. Don't really want to be fighting them. We want to go install the sheet ropes first. We will open this window. Add an escape rope. There we go. And then let's come over here. Open this window. Add an escape rope here. And we're going to come down here and do the same thing. This gives us three ways out of this place and three ways into it. If they tear one of them down, we've still got the others. All right, and now we want to barricade the floor or the door. I guess I need to pick up the planks. Now I'm trying to listen for anybody coming up the stairs. Not hearing anyone. That's the good news. I know there's some downstairs and they may be uh, they may be on the doors. I'll go down in a minute and we'll find out. Right now, um, let's protect this place. Okay, that is all of the things on the door. There's no nails left, so we've used all of our nails. We're good. That door is secure. Other than the fact that we now have to go outside. And there may be people on this door as we go out the door. I, um, I sort of expect that there, there will be. The hammer goes back in our bag. We have a secure place to come back to when we need to get some sleep. If we're, you know, if we're not ready to go, we, we've got a place here in town. Oh, we're in good shape. All right. With that, we get our ax back out. Now, the hardware store or the, it, it's three o'clock. We've got time to kind of make our way down the street toward where the hardware store is going to be. Um, we could use something to eat and I definitely have some uh, some of the, the food here. So I'm going to go ahead and eat half of this stir fry. Let's get me through the rest of the day. Oh, I do have some extra nails here. I think we're going to try to make our way down to the hardware store. I would like, I need a backup crowbar. I think the hardware store is the best place of getting that. So that's where we're going to, we're going to go try to find that. I know there's one here. I don't remember exactly where it's at. So we're going to move around some and then make our, we'll make our, end up making our way back up here. Um, probably not going to be much food in here that's not spoiled. Uh, might be something in here. Nah, most of that's rotten. Or inedible stuff. A little bit of cheese. Things of that nature. There are some stuff on the snacks. I'll probably check that stuff out later. For now. Oh, that's boarded up. Look at that. Who knew? Wow, um, that was unanticipated. So I guess I'm not going out those windows. We will be going back out this door and there may be people out here. I guess we can climb the rope right quick if there are. There are some people up there. Looks like I've got one person that's curious or has heard me. I don't remember what's in that warehouse type style building. Probably a warehouse, but I don't remember it. So we'll figure it out. All right, they seem to be content to beat on that. Don't really need to go into the office space. So let's head around the building. Like right now, the goal is not to kill as many people as possible, but to get away from as many as possible. So now look at all the people. All right, come on. We will go for a stroll down Main Street. All of that stuff. You guys are trying your best to break into that building. There's boarded up rooms all the board. Oh, this is boarded up all the way down through here. 
There's the town hall. The zombie sitting outside of it. Now I don't. Wait, we'll. We're gonna have to figure out where we think the, the bookstore. This is a restaurant, or it looks like what appears to be a restaurant. There are people inside it. There are people sitting up here. Ooh, look at the number of people there. That seems Mindy's is a uh, popular place at the moment. That is a lot of zombies. That does not appear to be the hardware store. There's the bookstore. I certainly am not going in there with this many zombies outside of it. Let's go right down through here. Yeah, come on. Hello. I got your attention. It's all good. Come along. Let's see if we can go down the street here. Let's see what this is. That appears to be a clothing store. I got a couple of people's attention. I don't remember. I don't think the hardware store was out this far. I think we're kind of getting out of town at this point, but I could be wrong. I'm going to go further down. We're just running down through here. Of course, we're drawing attention from all over the place, but that's okay. What is this building? Not sure what that is. Oh, it looks like somewhere to eat. Hello. Come along. That looks like houses right there. Looks like we're in a residential area. Okay. So what we're going to do, and that looks like a school maybe or playground. We're attracting the zombies here. We're going to keep running around here. All right, drop you off in there. Oh, look at there. Look at all those zombies. And they are all on me, the entire group. So we do have to uh, try to ditch aggro somewhere. Uh, we don't want that entire group down there. We need to go back to sneaking. See how good my sneaking skills are. Down through here. All right. This house is boarded up. Also, there's a bunch of zombies over there. There's zombies here. We're going to end up working our way back over to the main street. That's what we're going to end up doing here. Look at all these zombies. Hello. So you guys having a party there? Ignore me. Ignore the little running guy. I'm not doing anything interesting. Get on me. Oh, I've got a rest. Oh, it's raining again. Man, everywhere I go, there's just large groups. Right. Coming around that house should ditch aggro on a bunch of those. I do have some I've picked up here, but the trees should drop some of those out. I may have to kill more than I want, um, but I'm, I'm trying to, everywhere I go, there are definitely just hordes of zombies. And I aggro them pretty quick. There's a shotgun or something. I don't see anybody coming behind me there. So I may have been able to ditch some of the aggro in the trees. They'll probably be along in a minute though if I don't continue to move out of this area. That looks like a hunting knife. Don't really need hunting knives at the moment, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Well, go down. Oh yeah, I'm very tired. Our exertion level is pretty high. Oh, this is a police station. I don't know where I'm at in relation to where I started at. I see a duffel bag, oh, and I want the duffel bag, so that is something that we can use. So, all right, that's uh, not what I want to do, but let's see. Like I said, I have no idea where I'm at. I'm just wandering around town. And there is that duffel. We are going after that duffel bag. That means I'm doing a little bit of extra killing here.
Let's see if we can come down here and get your attention. Come on, go down. And where's the duffel bag? There we go. That is another duffel bag. So that brings my total number of duffel bags up to four. Still don't have real good visibility here. I'm going to kind of go back behind the police station here. I'm not sure what all's down through here, but it looks relatively clear. I'm not trying to get in the police station, although I do know I could get some weapons in there. That's not where I'm trying to go. I'm going to stick, stick with where I'm trying to go, which is the hardware store. Seems like they're either migrating or they have seen me. I do not know which it is. Oh, they don't seem to have seen me. This guy is... Okay. You're taking a nap and boy, you were uh, insistent that your nap was very good. Okay, that's the bank. So we do have quite the little collection of zombies out here in front of that bank. Alright, let's see. I don't like that. Oh, and one of those was a crawler. Boy, I was very fortunate there. Not to get in worse shape than I was. Right, let's quit trying to do this. This is West Point. Alright, let's see. I need to go somewhere where I can rest. That means going back to my safe house. I have to kill you. Those guys, I might be able to get by these guys without having to kill them. So let's just go down the street. We're walking now. I, said, I need somewhere to hole up. Now there was a lot of people on this. There's only two people now, so I did drag some to the other end of town. It's a good thing, but my exertion level is pretty high. It needs to come down. The only way that's going to come down is if I can sit down and take a break. The only way I get to do that is to get somewhere relatively safe and hole up. Right, I see you. I see you on that door. I see you just coming out of there. Let's see, let's go around behind here, then I may have to kill a couple and then climb over oh, there. We go. Let's see. Alright, up we go. Rest of you cannot reach me, and I can rest. So at 720, I'm not probably not going to make it into the hardware store tonight, but we did do a scouting trip. We dragged some of the zombies down, ditched some of the aggro, so that's not bad. Let's see, we're still just trying to, I'm starting to get drowsy, as you can see here. Um, that's due to how early in the day that I woke up this morning. Hopefully I can get a better night's rest this time. As I rest, the exertion level goes down. Let's speed time up here. What we'll do is we kill some of these and then I'll go down and kill the ones beating on the doors before we break for the evening. All right, that should do me well. Let's see about... My water bottle is empty. Let's go ahead and we'll... There's an office building across the street. We can probably find a water cooler over there. It wouldn't be bad to have a water cooler um, brought over here so that I've got plenty of water. Let's see how it goes. I am going to go downstairs and kill any zombie that's beating on a window. I, I don't want them beating on the window. Let's... Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, open window. I don't want to open the curtains. I want to open window. There we go. Climb through.
All right. I see this guy over here. Got him. Got a zombie coming right here. How many zombies are killed in this alley? That is definitely more than I want to be killing. Now you need to quit beating on that window. We are not... We do not want people making noise on our building. Yes, we'll kill you. Kill you. Maybe. Yes. Try to kill you. We'll come stand on you. Knock you down. You go down. You go down. Oh, wow. Yeah, he got close. Okay. Visibility is still going down. Doing things here in the rain is never the ideal solution to anything. There's more coming here. Don't really care if y'all break into this building or not, but let's try to clear a few more out, I guess. That's always good. Check behind me again. I don't even think the street light is on. It's very dark. I don't know if you're gonna fall down. Alright, I see somebody across the street here. I really don't know how. Yeah, come away from that window. Don't need a bread knife. You're just standing in an open doorway. Let's solve that problem. Let's take you out. I still hear zombies. There we go. Street light just came on. Did my axe break? I hope not. Boy, if my hand axe broke, I am in a world of hurt. Okay. Now I have a zombie beating on that window. Unless he breaks out very quickly, he is of no consequence to me. I do see a bunch of zombies up there. Therefore, oh, did they see me? Can't tell if they did or not. Yes, they did. Wow. I now have three of them coming down through here. Oh, and I have a, someone coming this way. Did you break out of that window? Where did you come from? Okay, I'm getting tired, so it's not good. Yep, they did break out of that window. All right, go down. All right. Oh, you can't go up there. Okay. That rope is inaccessible. Good to know. That means only the two over here are accessible. Oh, wow. Okay. That was, uh... Let's make sure no one's coming behind me. I hear another one. I think he's around the corner. Yep. You know, all right, that's enough. Let's try to get out of here. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, my rope is gone. Uh, shoot, that's not good. I still see one more zombie down here. See two more zombies. Mm. If I tear, if I go up there and it can't get out, I'm in trouble. I do have the rope over here. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm not happy that they've pulled my down my rope. I need to pull these zombies here. All right, there's one. Okay. 
I'm hoping he's the last one. And I'll take a couple of sheet ropes up with me. But let's see. Socks. Craft sheet rope. And there's another pair of socks. We'll craft another sheet rope. Okay. Now with that, I'm going up and we'll put a couple of sheet ropes up there. This gets us up. They definitely tore down one of the sheet ropes um, in the alleyway. So I may leave that out. We'll put some sheet ropes up over here. This one is not usable. And I'm going to remove that rope. I'm going to go ahead and close that window. And it is dark up here. Is the power off? No, power is still on. There are curtains up. I wonder if the if a sheet rope on this side would work to give me an alternate way out of here. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. We are we are in Riverside. We have a safe house that is going to be defensible. It's going to give us a safe place to stage from. Um, the goal tomorrow will be to get into the hardware store. Um, and then from the hardware store, uh, the maybe even the bookstore, we may try to do both and try to get what we can. We're looking for primarily weapons. We need a new hand axe. We need a new, um, that, that's one of the things that's going to be critical. Oh, the, there was a hand axe downstairs. We can go get that downstairs. We'll, we'll need that hand axe and then we will need to get a new crowbar because our crowbar is just about broken. And it's definitely going to go very soon, as you can see. So that's what we're, that's our next plan. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're enjoying the videos, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for updates on when new videos come out. And thanks for watching. Take care.